Building best of breed solutions requires open standards adopted by many component manufacturers. OSDP, or the Open Supervised Device Protocol, is one such standard. Regulated by the Security Industry Association and internationally recognized by IEC. Physically, it's based on an RS-485 communication between a door controller and a card reader. In the specification referenced as Access Control Unit, ACU, and Peripheral Device, PD. The role of the ACU is to send commands to the PD to retrieve any activity or apply configurations. If there is nothing to configure, the ACU will simply pull the PD and receive activity or just an empty acknowledgement. The initial use case of this protocol was actually to replace the legacy VGAND interface to get a more modern, bi-directional and future-proof approach to card reader communication. With that in place, you can then easily build more advanced feature sets on top of that, for instance, encrypted communications and biometrics. You might from time to time get the question if a product supports OSDP version 1 or version 2. What really should be asked is, what feature set does your product support? The specification itself is backward compatible between versions, so the core feature for just replacing VGAND has been the same ever since OSDP's origin. With the second version of the specification, the most prominent feature introduced was secure channel, encryption of the communication. But other additions include biometrics and smaller clarifications. The specification is also continuously being updated moving forward, with a focus on not breaking backward compatibility. So we should always talk about features and not specification versions.